Dual quests, are they a problem? Well, in my opinion, not yet. But, it definitely has the potential to be a very big problem for the game, depending on how Sega handles them going forward. If in the future, the dual quests work the same way, we get new Defi augments, and the dual quests remain balanced around those Defi augments, and they remain as scarce as they are, in, in my opinion, it will outright kill the game if that becomes the main focus of in-game content. And that said, I don't think that's going to happen. That seems very unlikely to me. But the possibility is there. And I want to talk about the main issues of the quest right now. And obviously, the big crux of the issue is the Defi arguments, right? And there's three main areas I want to talk about. The first is gatekeeping, and then balancing, and then finally having to maintain multiple sets of gear. Go ahead and get into it. First, it is not my argument or opinion that anyone should be able to pick up the game and start playing in-game content within hours. I can hear someone typing that right now. Right now. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, however, is that access to in-game content needs to be reasonable. Too much gatekeeping, too much friction will only drive away new and returning players and will slowly choke the game to death. Currently, there are two sources of the Defi Augments. First is, of course, the Rappy Urgent Quest, which is, you know, an inconsistent source. Only happens, you know, every few hours. And I assume people can just work their schedule around Urgent Quest, right? Now, there's the new Limited Time Quest as well, which obviously there's nothing stopping you from just grinding the limited time quest on hours on end. That said, in my experience, getting, well, frankly, anything to draw from the limited time quest is actually pretty rare. I've had, maybe I've just had terrible luck, but doesn't seem like a very good way to farm for them overall. Now, finally, you can't, of course, just buy the augments from other players, but if you look at the prices here on ship three, they're still very, very expensive. You know, these are, you know, averaging about 1.2 million each, you know, per capsule. These are you know, over 2 million per capsule. And then you compare this to the price of half an alley, which is you know, currently sitting about 1.7 and 1.8 a million was set up per capsule. It's a little expensive. And if you do some math, it's about 30 million or so was set up per unit and your weapon. Over 120 to 30 million was set up. Assuming you buy 10 of each. You know, for your augment, and then you use a 10% augment booster to guarantee it doesn't fail, right? I think that that's pretty inaccessible overall, right? There's no real, truly consistent source, and it's super expensive if you want to buy them. So that's out of, you know, not even considerable for new or inconsistent players, right? Now, I do expect this to change in the near future, but I want to talk about how it stands currently right and that said i'm gonna be in for you know gatekeeping uh, talk let's go ahead and move on to balancing which i think is probably honestly a bigger issue overall let's get into it having quest specific augments brings a few inherent balance issues the first one in relating to the quest itself is just the balance philosophy right behind the quest itself do you balance it more around standard gear you go somewhere in between, or do you balance for full quest augments? Now, currently, they seem to be going for the full quest augment route, but that may change in the future. But, you know, this is an extra layer of complication alongside having to balance the augments themselves, right? Are they too strong, too weak, etc., right? But I actually think the biggest issue actually ties back into the previous issue of gatekeeping, right? Are they too accessible or too inaccessible? Or are they, you know, just right? And I think currently obviously they're too inaccessible but i also think they could definitely easily overcorrect and make them too accessible and then dual quests become kind of really not in-game content and they're just kind of standard fare now if that's what they want that's perfectly fine whether they want dual quests to be in-game content but also be reasonable to access they're going to strike a very fine line of balance there right so we'll have to see if they can manage it now that said, this is much all I really want to talk about in terms of balancing. Let's talk about gearing, right? So quest-specific augments means having quest-specific gear, which means maintaining multiple sets of gear. Now, it's not too bad right now. You just make the second set, and it's not really going to run you too much other than, you know, 
the time or Masetta to get the Augments, right? But in the future, especially depending on how much you want the min max, you're as likely going to get more and more complicated to craft. It's going to take more and more effort, and this can get pretty out of hand pretty fast. Especially if we get new series of dual quests that require separate sets of gear, but we also have to maintain current ones, right? I don't think that'll happen, but it could. And if you haven't caught on, this is just another layer of gatekeeping, right? There's just too much gatekeeping with the dual quest, in my opinion. There's just too much friction, right? But I do, like I mentioned before, I do think this is likely to change. And I would like to, like, you know, offer some potential solutions myself. Um, not really for the Death Attack series, but just to kind of discuss some things. So let's do that really quickly. Now, what are some solutions outside of just crapping the idea altogether? Well, first, I think they could rebalance the dual quests and the Defi Augments themselves to essentially make them equivalent to, like, current best-in-slot stuff, right? And, you know, then you'd have the separate set of gear that's, you know, maybe a little easier to obtain best-in-slot, but it only works in the dual quest, right? So, if you are already maintaining, like, best-in-slot gear for regular content, you won't need to make the second set of gear. You'll be good to go, right? I think this is a decent enough solution, but I think another possible solution would be to tie the Defi Augments to, you know, another form of in-game content, where it's like, you know, you've reached that bar of in-game, so now you can very reasonably farm the dual quest specific stuff, but personally, I like the first idea more. And it really makes the Defi Augments the sort of, if you're a newer player and you're just looking to like finally get into the Defi Augment, you know, in-game content, like this is like a bit of a shortcut, but you know, only for this one bit of in-game. But if you want to branch out into other forms of in-game, you're going to have to make your own proper good gear, right? I think that would be the best solution personally, but it's hard to say what they will do. But uh, yeah, let me know if any ideas you guys have in the comments. But that's, again, that's going to be it for this video. As always, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.